ranking. Bubble tea brands in Singapore. Golden over tin when it first came out, right? Wow. She's whole. It's gone. I still ordered it for Jessica Jong and she liked it. Hold up. You've never tried it. You've never tried it. I'm ordering it. We've dug this out from our storage after the move to our new office. And for the first time in this new set, we are going to be ranking bubble tea brands in Singapore. Bubble tea? Bubble the tea. one thing Singaporeans can all agree on. Can all agree. Gone cannot. case. Do we not all agree that we like bubble tea? I agree. No, there are two people who disagree. That's why they're not here. Who? <laughs> Jared. No, Jared secretly like. He just cannot. That makes me It doesn't sad. match with his brand. <laughs> I call it. BS. <laughs> <laughs> so I was doing a bit of research on bubble tea, right? And turns out in my memory, Sweet Talk is the earliest one. Yes, OG, but there's OG. There's an entire life for bubble tea before what? Sweet Talk. Eh. Huh? Yeah. And this was back in 1992. Is it called Ice yes. Cool? No, close. That's the second gen, uh, second wave. Oh. So the first gen was called Bubble Tea Garden. And then they used to serve <laughs> it in cocktail glasses. Wow. And it was like at Marina fancy. Square. And you cannot take the little pinky. Oh. There was no Taobao bubble tea back then. Huh. Interesting. So it was only about 10 years later in 2001, where the brands that you mentioned came up and then that was when people started Taobao. And then within the span of like a few years, there were over like 5,000 outlets in Singapore. And let me give you the markers that we were used to rate each bubble tea. Oh. oh. The metrics, the metrics. Yeah, very important. Metrics. We are professional yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah, just yeah. anyhow ranking one. Of huh? course, of course. Number one, quality, of course. Of what? But how do you define ingredients, quality? Ingredients, so, ingredients. Of the ingredients, freshness the and fragrance. authenticity of the tea leaves, quality of the milk, and are there alternative milk options? For example, soy milk. And then freshness of the pearls the, and the consistency of the pearls and the chewiness. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So the, the balance between the sweetness and the mm. other flavors, all this goes into quality of the drink. Okay. Correct. What if it's a bubble tea that is definitely a bubble tea, but it's not a milk, nor a tea drink, nor has pearls. Yeah. So, so mm. I think mm. that yeah. we can also rank them based on how far they're willing to experiment. Ah. Yes. How, how often they come up with new flavors that actually work. That is Innovation. Flavor, oh. flavor variety. Ooh. So do they have a range of unique and traditional, both unique and traditional flavors available? Do mm. they have special ingredients such as maybe fruit infusions or like rock salt, your aloe vera, all those. Rocks. And then do they have maybe seasonal new offerings okay. and, and innovative products? Okay. Yeah. I'm so excited. So that's the fruit point two is variety. Point three, consistency across outlets. Ah. You know, sometimes the koi here is nice, but the koi somewhere else is not nice. Very True. Good. Interesting. You. Really? Yeah. Thank I you. didn't know. Sorry. If you refer, <laughs> refer to, <laughs> if you refer to multiple koi the outlet, right? is it koitus? Koi the. The koi. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, you're waiting the whole time. I always call it the toe. The, oh, because sideways they are <laughs> toe. No, no, sorry, that's their name. <laughs> Move on. Oh, point, I can't okay. remember point two already. Also, yes, <laughs> point four, customer service. Or lack like thereof. Important. Important. Or lack thereof. Exactly. The whole experience. Okay, number five, affordability. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes so yes. is this drink worth it? And then are there budget friendly options? Okay. So what is budget friendly again? Cause I only just found out that like some drinks are like minimally $5 or something. No. Most drinks are minimum For $5. For example, $5. Liho, if you are a member, right? You can get the milk tea or certain drinks of the month, right? For like $2. It's true. Mm, $2 it's true. is still a reasonable price. It's super reasonable. It's super yeah. cheap. You Maybe it's not value. Because sometimes there's a $7 drink, but it's actually like really exactly. good. Exactly. Like mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. And then lastly, the store ambiance. Nah, this no one cares about. <laughs> Nowadays, there are shops that you can sit there and drink the bubble tea as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. But well, why? The Koi Koi yeah. And the Star Vista. Yeah. They have the, it's like a cafe essentially. Then they sell macaroons and all that kind of thing also. They must diversify, you know? Go with alcohol also. Right? I think it depends on the area because Star Vista is usually waiting for concert. So you need some place to sit yeah. down. Therefore, yeah. we will start with Koi. What okay. is everyone? Koi, Koi, Koi. And that's rating of Koi based off of your memory okay. or uh. your... Every My memory, la, 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 la. I haven't drank koi in maybe five years. Okay, why? I just drank yesterday. Two, three, B. Ooh, wow. S, that's wow. crazy. Yeah, what the ranking of it, guys? I'm between A or S. Whoa. Yeah, me as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, very good. So averaging A la. Yes. Okay, good. We don't have the screen anymore. So we will put up here because we've, technology yeah. is great. We've upgraded, yet downgraded. <laughs> <laughs> so Koi has some signature drinks. I'm going to list the crop favorites for everyone that we do, right? So Koi's crop favorites are the Ribena Yakult Green Tea. No, huh? 
Four their seasons. standard golden bubble milk tea never and tried. some of their oval tin options. I've never tried any <laughs> of these. The Yo, over tea. Oh, guys. <laughs> golden <laughs> over tin when it first came out, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, I never <laughs> knew this until like a week ago. Huh? Then I like I was very thirsty. Then my friend ordered really? coffee. Then I just like no choice had to drink. I like, okay, I have a sip because I really wanted to uh, quench my uh, thirst. Uh. Then really? I sip her over thing drink. I was like, like I never been mind blown what? for a long time about a drink. I was like, oh my god, what is this flavor? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I never been flavor. I was so excited. So the next day, right, I was like, I'm gonna buy this bubble tea. Then nobody want to buy in the office with me. Oh, that's why. Oh, so I, I, I asked you why uh, you want to hit minimum order. You say don't need. Yeah, I was very sad. Mm. Anyway, after what I went to buy, but then they closed. Oh. Oh. Then I cycled to another outlet just to buy that over tea. When I take wow. a seat outside, I would worth it. I'm so jealous. It's, oh. like, it's like, you know when people yeah. watch, like you you are, you are, want your friend to watch like a movie for the first time, but it's a great movie. Mm. And then you wish you could experience that again, like rewatching yeah. a great movie for the first time. But I was at the other end of the spectrum. So with bubble tea, right, I always right, just order the most basic. That means just milk tea, give me the black pearl, let me walk away, you know? Uh-huh. But then, right, the 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 golden over uh. was the very first alternative drink that I tried from a, a shop like that, right? And it fucking, it changed my life. Right. <laughs> changed no, my because life. I was like, go to over I like over <laughs> ma. Then like, let's just be, <laughs> let's just try a bit, adventurous a bit. Yeah. Uh. The moment I tried it, right? I have never ordered the basic milk tea for the most part. Wow. Wow. Every time since that drink, uh, I've always like, it hey, got new, new weird, weird drink. Uh. I, I try. Yeah, mm. but I always regret. For the most part. And that it's one was five the- years. <laughs> Go look everything even longer. Eh. Oh, oh. No. We should figure out when it first came out because yeah, I, yeah. I, I actually saw it being promoted as a new drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what game changer, they like put the crumble thing on top. Inside, you still <laughs> got a bit of bite. Where I, your crumble? I tell you, when it first came out, right, it was better than it is now, but then I haven't tried it for a long time. Maybe come back up again already. I, oh. I feel like I'm ordering yeah. it. Eh. I think the magic about Koi, right, is that it is actually the maybe the most universally loved, I think, because like most? if you go to a mall mm. and then you're with a group of friends, right? And then there's multiple bubble tea shops. If you recommend anything other than Koi, right? There will always be that one person that go, Ooh, I don't really mm. like that one. Mm. But when you say Koi, everyone's like, yeah. okay, I have that one drink in mind that I don't mind ordering yeah. from Koi. Okay. What about your one drink? Okay, you over thing for you. What's no, yours no, for no. Koi? last time is green milk tea. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Cause Koi, right, the milk, I never tasted the same kind of milk taste in other bubble tea shops. Mm. It's very creamy, mm. creamy yeah. and fresh. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. milk. This taste. is why you sit in the middle. You're such a connoisseur. <laughs> 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 I remember that between between there was there was like Kongcha and Koi being the two main mm, yeah. uh, chains, right? For a while, and, yeah. And the difference was that if you prefer more tea taste, mm. you go to Kongcha. Yeah. Mm. And if you Correct. prefer more milky taste, then you go to Koi. Yeah. That's an S tier opinion. Do you all know why Koi is Koi? <laughs> 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 hey, but they changed name right halfway. It used to be Koi, then suddenly it became Koi Why Koi Koi is, Isn't it uh, the Koi? No, it's, it's called T-H-E with the point it's on top. It's French for like tea. tea. It's French for tea. Really? Yeah. Koi But they're not tea. French. So in France, Koi I want chai. to drink the. Uh. Would you like the? You want the the? <laughs> no way la. <laughs> it's true. Legit. My friends study French. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Koi is also a French word? No, no, Koi no. is to. Koi is from. <laughs> <laughs> Koi is so Taiwanese, is it? It's Taiwanese. It, most of them originated from Taiwan, yes. Ah. Like bubble tea did. Yes. Most. And I think they are very consistent. Koi is Like, yeah, although yeah, yeah. the menu, right, the variety doesn't change that much. But I feel like they are very consistent in their offerings and the taste tastes roughly the, the same. Mm. Yeah. And like, mm. I think recently they also start to, like, every month, right, they start to change, like, the flavor. Like, for example, mm. recently mm. they got this. Uh, like Rabina mm. series. Then they had a Taro series. Then they uh. had a like Chinese New York pineapple series. Ooh. And then, then recently they also had like the cough, you know the cough, the what's cough the? Syrup. syrup. Yeah, what's that? Cough the syrup. The Pipa Kao. Ah, Pipa oh. Kao. Oh. 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 So they have seasonal offerings lah. Yeah, but last time, not, I feel like last time I don't really see that from them. Mm. But then recently when they come out with the offerings, right? And it's actually nice. I tried the Rabina black tea, so good. I feel like trying, giving Koi another chance now. Okay. You, you know what I love about Koi? Because I think for a long time, right? Bubble tea has always been big straw inside and then drink. But I think, I don't know, miss, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but Koi was the first one, right? To come up with slice. You slice a bit the of macchiato. 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 Macchiato, everybody. Macchiato, green macchiato. tea is my go-to. Nets also. And then you just slice a little bit, right? And then you, wow. You mean you drink bubble tea without her? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> no, because right, when you put straw, right, you don't get the top layer first. So like when you go to Starbucks oh. and you order like a drink with like the whipped cream, right, you actually drink everything else then the whipped cream. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the macchiato yeah, yeah. you have to enjoy first. It, it taught you that it can, yeah. you have, can have a layered experience. Mm. 
exactly that. Wow. Of, of, of multiple textures. Because of That's Koi, right, I didn't want to try, I didn't dare to try like new drinks because of one experience. I also that day, right, I feel like, hmm, let's be adventurous today. Don't order my usual sh-. So I went to Koi. Hey, I love Koi. Uh. I'm just saying, there's one drink, right? I You did not I, get the John Paul Overtin experience. I felt sick because of the drink. <laughs> because I went to order something called the Fruit C. It's like random. Oh. I don't know what is it. Because like on the iPad, right? It's mm-hmm. spelled like Fruit C. I don't know. Underscore. Oh. There's an oh. underscore in the name. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what is this? Try it. Then I went to press. I was so excited for my drink, right? Oh my God, that's a waste of... I threw like... I, threw, I think the threw the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, it's like, it's like candies in the... In the drink, candies. So too sweet, is it? Or like artificial tasting? It's or? artificial tasting. It's like mm. candies. Like you buy from, like you put. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah, packet yeah. Get on me So, right. Yeah. I think so. With being adventurous, right? Got limit, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. see that the product, <laughs> confirm nobody ordered for like the last month, one, uh, Yeah, yeah, then yeah. You don't. How you know? How because you know? the sweet, obviously, sitting there for yeah. like a no, month already, the then you yeah. eat. On the menu, they got put crown or something. Ah. They, know, they never follow the crown. Also. I think as a general rule, right? Never order with something like, with an underscore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's on the last, last, last page, Anna, nobody else will look there unless then you really, you, you that day you want yeah. to scroll. Uh, uh, don't play. So our final rating is one, two, three. A. S. B. Still S. B. Wow. Yeah. I improved it because it sounds like there are a lot of nice drinks that I can open my mind to. So it's an A plus, Yeah, A plus. Okay, yeah. A plus. Consist- consistently good. A pl- consistently the ranking will appear here. Oh, he- here. Somewhere. And we're on to the next one. <laughs> so we were th- just talking about the biggest competitor of Koi for a few years, and that is Gong Cha. It's not called Gong Cha. In Chinese, it's Gong la. Gong Cha. Wait, so no, but do you, you know about the drama. <laughs> Wait, before we begin, what would you rate drama Gong Cha? Mama. Wait, it depends. Now, the, the, the Gong Cha that used to be now, owned by the Liho founder, Gong Cha, before they had to turn into Liho, or the new Gong Cha? Uh, oh my god, that was the backstory. I was thinking like Gong Cha and Liho like link How somehow. Uh, basically, Wait. the franchise owner that used to own the Gongcha in Singapore, uh, suddenly either like he or the franchise owner or whatever like, couldn't renew them. So then he had to be, he had, was forced to start Li Ho, like a new brand. Oh. Yeah, he split. But then after basically. that, then Gongcha came back. Yes. Like I, either the main brand or like someone else to the franchise. I can't remember the terms you probably can Oh no, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so sad. Okay, okay I remember it. I remember it. Yeah. So it's, is it, are we ranking original Wait, Gongcha so or new Gongcha? I think include the story. Include the history. Okay. So Important. average, overall, okay. overall People story. need to know. To Unlike the jury in the Karen Rich. <laughs> so Gong Cha is a di- has a diverse di- menu that caters to tea enthusiasts. Yes. And essentially that is the best part of their drink. Crowd favorites include the red milk tea. tea. Red tea. Oh, okay. Korea, correct. Earl Grey milk tea. Mm. Ah, I like yes, that. I like I that. remember Earl Grey. Mm. But I think you are right. Based on the history, it used to be very good. And I'm someone who likes tea because my mom um, is a Chinese tea enthusiast. Oh. So like, you know, must the tongue pain and a lot of pattern, then 20 minutes, then can drink the first cup. That Hell comes. yeah. So right. <laughs> I mean, when koi came out, it's nice, but then you cannot drink, cannot taste the tea. So I preferred gong cha. Yeah. Mm. Which is why gong recently cha. when they fell off so hard, I'm super sad. Aww, I don't even know where's my nearest outlet anymore right now. I think what happened was, because like just now you also mentioned, right? That you don't recall the, like when Liho switched already mm. and all that thing happened, then you like kind of stopped before that, right? Mm. That is what happened. You switched to Liho. Mm. No, the stores also switched to Liho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> so they disappeared, actually they converted. Okay, okay, like, okay. Some closed down, but some converted. So Liho like, basically mistaken. became the dominating uh, player in the game mm. very yeah. quickly. La, but after I, that whole drama thing happened. I feel like because Denise said Gongcha was known for the teas, and I think with Liho, it wasn't so much like the same value proposition anymore. So then people mm. also got confused. Mm. And then fell off. I want to say one thing though. Just now, koi, according to my googlings, is not halal. But if I'm not wrong, Gongcha is. Oh. Ah. So that is ah. a uh, twist. So I remember Gongcha being like consistent, right? In terms of offering b- simple alternative flavors to their basic milk tea. Yeah. Yeah. So they would have the hazelnut milk tea, the oh. earl grey milk tea, all the little, little differences. Yeah. Not too far off. So you still can get milk tea, but with a bit of a twist. Yeah. That yeah. was what made them stand out. And also the fact that their tea flavor was more prominent. Lor. But mm. I, I know Gong Cha, right? Because last time I always buy this taro drink from them. Mm. But I think last time, none of, none of the other bubble tea stores have taro. Mr. Bean have. <laughs> Mr. Thank what? you. 
<laughs> Mr. Bean also has bubble tea. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's they true. Have. They have pearls. Oh. In soy milk with pearl, yeah. yeah. It took me a while to figure out what Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> English chain. Okay, and then. No, but now Gong Cha, right? I don't know how to say. Like last time, you can really taste the tea and the milk taste. Mm. But then now it tastes just like sugar to me. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's like sugar water. Yeah, it tastes very artificial. Like, I don't know what's wrong. And then somehow the drinks that's supposed to be cold, right? Tastes a bit warm. Oh no. Yeah, no I, I don't understand. The tea is a bit warm. Yeah, it's like I don't know. You know Maybe how tea is generous. So just the consistency think- and the quality fluctuated a lot for this brand. Mm, mm, and especially and over the years. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that their innovation actually came too little too late. So you see like the other brands, right? Like I think Liho was the one that started the trend, which we will rate them later. Mm. And then Koi also picked up on it and started doing the seasonal mm. drinks. But then I never really hear about Gongcha yeah, yeah, specialty yeah. drinks. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe only the Taro thing. It could be, it could have been strategic to begin with. Cause like, oh, everyone trying new stuff, right? But then what if we can be the place where the people OG. love us, they keep coming back to yeah. us. Mm. Wow. Uh, maybe, maybe. It's a marketing strategy problem. We, yeah. But yes, now they do have a creme brulee strawberry latte, which apparently some people quite like, but mixed opinions on that. The average- That's the one you don't order, the one you get sick. <laughs> 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 nah. Oh no, but they, they burn the top, so yeah. they kill the bacteria, I guess. <laughs> Is the average Google rating for Gong Cha higher or lower than Koi? Lower. Higher. Much lower. Higher because sure. I think fewer people go. So there are fewer complaints. Like I would say slightly lower. La, slightly they lower. are actually slightly higher at a 3.7. Uh. And their lowest rated one is lower than Koi. So that's 2.7 at Topayo Central. Do not, I mean, not do not go there. Wait, you go went to every single outlet and look at the review? That's why I was out of the office. Oh, no wonder. But what are some complaints? Because like you said Koi was for the app. Complaints, I huh? didn't have time to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, because I look at a lot of reviews. Nice. One, two, three. Where's my letter? Uh, D. C. Sad. I'm a bit sad, but I feel like because I haven't tried it in so long, I want to give it one more chance before I... I feel like you're going to drink a lot of bubble tea it after off. this yeah. episode. Yeah. I want to drink a bubble tea one. You know what yeah, it is, minus, I feel like minus. over time, so many new players have over come into time. the game and they've really pushed the standard. Like there's all these like, uh, premium teas and stuff, mm. right? Yeah. So then when I think about it, like obviously it's going to be calories also, right? And then I and then my recollection of it isn't that great. So then if I'm just going back to a basic thing, like, do I really want that or do I want to use the calories on something more premium, yeah. more fun and exciting? Yeah, I think that, is the main reason why, la. but I still want to try it. La. Okay, so on the note of a uh, good tea that is somewhat newer and maybe a bit more I'm ready because I love tea. Okay, let's go. Exciting stuff. Chi Cha San Chen. I knew it. Okay, sorry. Okay, oh, initial sorry. rating. Mm. Hey, hey. This is the one of the few that is not bubble tea. It's Where is the outlet? Tea. Oh, it's, it's, bubble tea. it's a green it's tea shop. Everywhere, everywhere. People go JB. Even Sengkang have your It's area always have. a lime wash wall and very like mood wabi sabi. Okay, There's okay, a okay. map of Taiwan. <laughs> Guys, I'm already voting. Three, not bubble tea. Two, one. Hey! It's, what it's, the heck is that? I've never tried this, I think. <laughs> so I don't want to affect the score. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The effort is a. Wow, so high. Oh, A. No, she's D. No, like, yeah, like, she is a bubble tea snob. Okay, explain yourself. Okay, now. Number one. Oh, wow. oh, number one. Oh no. Okay, number one. <laughs> when I look at the menu, the price is already at least seven to eight dollars. Okay, Six for, fifty for a, <laughs> yeah seven dollars <laughs> just for like a medium size. It is higher than the other yeah, two brands yeah, it's we like rated more so far. premium prices, right? Okay. Number two, when I first went to the shop, right, I ordered like a stand. Like I look at the menu and then I ordered this osmentus. Osmentus. Osmentus means what? No, you see, okay, wait, wait, wait. I haven't finished. I the ordered leaf, uh. the, the Osmentus. I was like, okay, the sugar level, there's only like maybe 25, 50 and- Don't have 25, 0, 50, 100. Okay, 0, 50, 100, yeah. right? The sugar go level. Home, home. So I'm like, okay, let me play safe. I choose 50. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <like zero. laughs> Cause it's either 100, 0 or 50. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. be the in between, okay, right? Okay, okay. So I drank, I was like, eh? I thought I was supposed to taste like a very robust tea flavor mm. and like a bit of sugar, right? Mm. I taste like water. <gasps> then I was like, okay, what's wrong? Then I posted about it like, hey guys, is it? Then everybody starts scolding me. Why you buy the Osmentus? Oh, exactly. Let's put 100% sugar, 100% chicha is perfect. Why you never choose 100? So I was like, People okay. Victim blaming okay. <laughs> so I went and ordered the same drink. I spent okay. another $8 okay, to buy Six. the same drink, but with 100%. I taste again, water. Then I post about it. Then everybody scold me. was the water me. flavor robust? No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> was that bubble? Wait, no, it's not, a deep, it's not a deep tea flavor. You okay. try other outlets or not? No, but you see, you're one of them who will come out. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, okay, maybe it's the choice of the drink. <laughs> then everybody tell me, yeah, like, Dong Ding. No, Dong Ding Oolong. Yeah. This one, no, no you get the normal milk tea, milk tea bubble. That's the standard yeah. one. Yeah, 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 then yeah. I was like, okay, fine. I will choose some like, 
Tong Ting Oolong, right? Okay, since it sounds <laughs> better okay. than the milk tea. So I ordered that one, then I choose 100, right? Still suck. Okay, I think the problem is you. Still suck. <laughs> I ordered ice, right? It's warm. <laughs> it's like, like it's I want some coldness, like, I want refreshing, not refreshing. No. Did you it's, go back? Okay, okay, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. When you are trying yeah. something new, right? Okay. Yeah, please. Okay, the fair judge. Uh, I, 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 I want to say that the only area that I, I, I agree with you that's annoying when it comes to bubble tea is that whenever you try a new brand, mm. you need to calibrate. Because every new, new brand, right, or new chain, there are percentages all different on, mm. so you don't really know. So you use the first maybe one, two time to calibrate, but you must use the same order. If you keep changing variables, right, then it's very difficult. Do you ever go back to try the first drink you order yes. at the correct setting yes. at the different store? Oh, Smentos, no, 100%. I went to the same outlet to get mm. the first two variation. I think that's the problem. Maybe the outlet. The outlet. No, the you outlet. see, <clears throat> everybody giving excuses, but the main point is that why do the first time they serve me, right? By the way, the Osmentus drink, I forgot to add, right? Oh, no. When I went to the first time, because I don't know anything, <laughs> I said, can you recommend me okay. something? Okay, so everyone whose argument is that I ordered the wrong drink, right? The freaking store owner tell me to get store the Osmentus. No, I never say you order the wrong drink. They both like the Osmentus. I think you okay. go to the wrong place. Okay, wait, is it to, I must go to coin. Is it Tampanese Outlet? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's Tampanese, Tampanese, Tampanese Outlet, Outlet, which is the lowest rated. Oh, there you go. Went to the worst store and they're still rated a 3.9. Oh. And while well, I'm at it, Chicha's average rating is 4.5 stars. What the Expected. Yeah. Expected. No, I didn't know how to pronounce the name. When I saw the shop name, right, it was spelled Shan Chen. So yeah. I, I went to everyone and I said, Have you drank Shan Chen? Then they're like, What the fuck is that? You the mean fact Chicha? that you used the back half of his name is already a red flag. Cannot, but that's that the a, biggest word yeah. in the logo. <laughs> I also know it as Sancho. I didn't know it was in front eh. Oh. I cannot see. <laughs> Every time you say Chicha, I think like what yeah. coffee shop. No, Sorry. That's true, that's true. Is it because you eat the pearl and you drink the tea? That's why they call it Chicha? I don't know what that means. If not, it should chicha. be Hecha, no me. Look at you, the Chinese she, she. expert. <laughs> San it's, Chen. It's like how we say consume films. Uh. I think maybe for them it's like Flim, a, flim. films. No, but Chicha is famous for their <laughs> freshly brewed tea. So at every shop you'll go, right? You'll see the machine there and then there's like the tea dripping. No wonder hot lah. They yeah, pour the hot tea onto the ice and the ice and you, you never drink from on top okay. with the ice. Okay, you yeah. drink from below. I need, to, I need to say this, okay? okay Although okay. my experience is D, right? I still, because it's a rare popular brand, I still order it for Jessica Jong and she liked it. Jessica oh. Jong oh. likes Chicha Authentic. Yeah, uh, but trying to flex, uh, get to meet uh, your you buy it, I know you're not on the <laughs> hey, No, but you treat Jessica Jong bubble tea. Eh. Oh I just, I have her, I have her, I just serve her the bubble tea and say, hello, this is the tea. What, okay, so can you tell us what sh what was the order she liked? So there were four she drank all she tried I all four, she picked all, the one yeah. she liked. And Those. she took yeah, Osmentos. Yeah. So I ordered the Osmentos one. I ordered black tea. I ordered, I think, some oolong and another fruit tea. Cause like maybe instead oh, of tea, tea, something like more refreshing. Mm. So she drank all and then she realized that she'll just keep the black tea, no sugar, 0%. Huh? Really? I thought it was Osmentus. Interesting. <laughs> so basic, they do the basics well. No, but that's because she's doing a concert. So also, she might not have wanted anything sweet. Yeah. True. And her right. Okay, I must say that I don't think that they have good consistency across outlets either because, mm. because their tea taste is yeah, so only... unique, right? The um like how they do the rest of the ingredients, I think greatly affects the tea taste. So some outlets you go, it's really way too sweet or you cannot really taste the tea at all. Mm. So it depends yeah. on the brewer at the outlet. Yes, I think mm. so. I believe so, la, is my experience. That's not right. That's not right. Okay. But okay, I've gathered enough information okay, to make my decision <laughs> from four people. You're not I will join the vote, vote now. You're not allowed. Okay. I think I'm gonna downgrade actually. I mean to no. Okay, one, two, three. Final vote for Chicha Sanchen is C. A. B, B, D. Average. A, B, B minus. B minus. B minus. B minus. B minus. It's brought up by her A. B minus. Yeah. I like bubble tea, right? There is focus on the taste of the tea. Mm. I appreciate that, you know. But I don't have that wat plain water experience. So maybe it's my <laughs> water Maybe your, your palate is too refined already. Mm. Did you no, order 100%? No, it's not refined. No, I ordered 20% actually. Oh, but how come can? How come yeah, she can order 20%? Might. I think that's really the outlet problem. Yeah. Exactly yeah. The problem. Okay, how, about, how about this? Alison will go and try another outlet and give it one last no, chance. One last, last chance. chance. No, one, one last chance. chance. One last chance. <laughs> How about you both go since you also haven't tried? Ah, first chance. First, first, first chance. chance. First give chance. one chance. chance. Give, give one chance. chance. Moving on to someone who's actually also known for their Osmantus drink. <gasps> What is Osmantus? But has- yeah. <laughs> I also don't know. Yeah. Osmantus? Like, who is that? <laughs> it's a type yeah. of tea leaf. Yeah. Oh. Osmantus oh, is a tea leaf. It's a flower. 
Ah. So it's flower, like flower. Like yeah. It's like chrysanthemum yeah. flowery or like flowery bitter. flower flower. It's chrysanthemum. Okay. Okay. Is okay. the oolong tea leaf very long? No. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, long. Ooh, long. Yeah, I was like, you know. Another brand that is known for their Osmantus drink. I'm not sure which specific variation. Can I guess, please? Okay. Blame it. Yes! <laughs> Blame it! Blame yes, it. okay, okay, okay. Blame it, Blame it. Oh, I never drink enough to know, eh. Yeah. Blame it based is on what ass. <laughs> <laughs> which Here. is a good thing for it's those still, who are listening. It's still A. Okay, one, two, three. A. B. What is it that? I also cannot, oh, cannot try. Okay. You never tried before? No one has ever recommended it. Hold up. Me. You've never tried it. You've never tried it. No, okay. not, not enough. I I'm think. ordering it. <laughs> you really? You've no, never tried before? I think I tried before like years ago, right? Because they have like, I know they have unique pearls. Correct? Yes, so they are well known and their specialty is but their unique pearls idea. such as Great Boba, Black Sesame Pearl, Chrysanthemum Pearl. Excuse me? Special I Osmantus Jelly. Osmantus <laughs> Jelly. <laughs> Special tea sounds like a great bubble tea shop name. I'm quite sure it exists. Special tea. Yeah, I have, have, have. In JB actually. Yo, Playmate Malaysia. is ridiculous eh. There was a long period of time. Okay, let me- It's literally on his phone right now. He's I, 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 I'm gonna check order. <laughs> so what happened was I stopped drinking bubble tea for a very long time. Health reasons, all this kind of thing. And also like, I kind of lost the liking for, for, for milk tea in general. Lah. Then one day, right, I don't know why, right, I like playing mahjong or what, then my friend say, hey, you just try this one. Then like, it's a new chain or some shit. Then I'm like, okay, steady. Then they recommend, 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 right? Then I ordered the chrysanthemum <gasps> milk tea. Mm. And then you take, oh, that sounds nice. Pink cactus pearl. Huh? What's wow. pink cactus? I'll get to that. <laughs> no idea. So, right, then it's ridiculous, aren't it? You don't have to order it too sweet, right? But I tell you, the, the aroma, right, and the, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's almost like, it's so subtle yet, yet it's sweet enough and it's gentle on the tongue. Oh no, and it looks it's like smooth, falling in love. And it's, no, it, it's crazy. Eh. Like, umami, umami. Whatever you're you thinking need to lower of, right? your expectation. <laughs> it's not like overly concentrated. It's not bitter. It's not anything like that. It's just so subtle, but it's there. And it's the most pleasant experience you'll ever have, right? Subtle, yet, but right, it's there. The, the, the density and the lushness of, and creaminess of the milk <laughs> component of making it a milk tea, right? is so f***ing spot on. And then, <laughs> that's just the tea, man, my friend. That's the, 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 the... You're trying to hit workout, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think then, he wrote this article. Then my you have the pearl. I think the pearl, right? You never feel this kind of thing in your mouth before. <laughs> <laughs> so, so apparently they have a different recipe. It's not really pearl. It's like some other kind of like It's handcrafted jelly. pearls made in-house. It's slightly sandy and grainy. It has a very good bite to it. You you bite through. It's not too chewy. Uh, it doesn't feel artificial. And then it has its own flavor and it's slightly sweetened on its own, but it's not too sweet that it distracts you and it feels like sugary. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And <laughs> dude, it complements the, the, the flavor of the milk tea so damn well. Their pearl, right? Got the flavor to match the drink. Lah. Mm. So you can have chrysanthemum pearl. You can have like, if you order another flavor, right, like green tea, right? I think they also have like green tea pearl or something. It's almost like, like their playmates. <laughs> Pink cactus, by the way. Yeah, I wanted is, to know that. Actually. Is a uh, is some kind of plant or something that they harvest, right? That they harvest from, I think, uniquely from like Taiwan, which is where bubble tea was born. Okay. So it's like a special so thing. It's a plant. It's a plant. Only <laughs> found in their lands. Pink cactus is made of the made from the pulp of this thing called Peng Hu, Pink which cactus. is only found in Taiwan. No, so is it a real cactus? It uh, is actually a pink color cactus. Oh. Let's go. Okay, okay wait, is it but nicer than Ovatin? Honestly. Two different things though. I yes. <gasps> no, the, or, the original Ovatin when you tried it when it first came out. Same impact. Oh. oh. Wow. Okay, is this? I tell you, it made me start drinking again. The fact that you love it so much, right? I'm disappointed that you've never come to office and say, guys, I discovered something. You all should try this. This is so the first time like I'm hearing ago. about it. But yeah. they are actually quite affordable. So their prices usually average $5 or lower for the, the more basic options. Mm. Wow. Yeah, they have quite a range that are like five and lower. Sorry, sorry, please. From the other people who have tried it, thoughts and feelings. So they all hate this. I think you summarize No, I agree, I agree. Yeah, so it's I, an A. I'm huh? not sure what yeah. I can add to your explanation. Yeah, you are too good already. Like, no, but correct, much. huh? It's I the agree. correct summary, right? Correct, correct. Agree, agree, really. Wow, okay, I need to try it then. Okay, so after this sell, a what would you all rate it? I'm keeping my ass for something else. So. After hearing <laughs> what John Paul had to say. <laughs> so e. No, no, when you, e. what, what, what? I'm, I'm keeping my ass like, for something for else. Something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving my ass for something else. A. A. 
thing is an Whoa. A. It's an A plus. Because what I'm hearing is it's, ex- it's expensive. Oh, it's an A. No, to me, oh. No, it isn't. You said, said don't care about price. When you go no, to the okay. I was shocked by no, the you price. Can, you can oh. add on other things that will make the price increase, lah, but. Mm. Whoa. I, honestly, I, I think this is S tier. Like, mm. we need to have some S tier. This does well, we do a part two, but this is the last one for now. And it is. Lee Ho! Let's go! Oh, no. Let's go! I'm very really sad about this, guys. What does Lee Ho even stand for? Lee Ho! Immediate Lee drink! Oh. No, for real, for real? Oh, I thought it means hi! Oh really? Like, like Liho, like, like they always Oh Ni Hao, like Ni yeah. Hao. Oh, oh Leho Mo. Oh, Leho. One. Really? I cannot run. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> she cried. Okay, Liho used to be like my right. favorite bread ever. Because when they first come out, right, I think like they d- do the tea consistently well. Mm. And then I feel like they always innovate. Like, because I actually mm. meet the, the people who innovate for the drinks. And it's really like quite innovative. Like they always like try to get something new out there. Yeah. Same can yeah. we for Playmate. <laughs> I feel like they have the best like member ship app thingy. Okay. So every time you go to Liho, right, you Quite you get attention. points and then you can use the app to redeem things. So like you can get a lot of drinks free or like you can get like discounts off whatever. And the mobile app like not bad. And then they suddenly like a few months ago, right, they just changed the whole menu. Mm. Like it's not just huh? they innovate at the site. They change everything. Like mm. the, all the teas that the I like. Right? Cow milk tea is gone. Yeah, like I like all to, the. Well, I, I saw this new. with my own eyes. <laughs> Me too. I need mm. to change the new menu then. Yeah. See after that, home cow milk tea gone. Yeah, but I still give them a chance. I tried the new tea, but the tea is so distinct. Like what maybe I would get at a very very specialty tea shop. Like yeah. there's yeah. a there's a almost like a perfume <laughs> taste to it. Okay, like okay, really okay. very wait, wait, strong. Artificial, good. artificial. This is good. Uh, no, to me it's not good because uh, yeah. it's too mm. much and it doesn't taste like refreshing. Like okay. it tastes too mm. intense for me. And the prices also went up a bit. So I feel like I'm very sad that it has changed. You've had a very Difficult history <laughs> yes, yeah. with bubble no, tea. No, so yeah. I I, I'm sorry. Because last time I, I would say yeah. like Liho is the best brand. Like I personally advocate for Liho, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now I feel like I cannot. Two, three. I, <gasps> I don't know. Our first F of the day. Wow. Okay, I need to ask because I haven't seen the, the new oh, menu, but I, I have my, my favorite flavor, which has been controversial. And I tell people this is my favorite bubble tea flavor, right? <laughs> of all bubble teas, right? They always be like, that's the one thing no one orders. Okay, okay. And I wanted to know if they still have it. If they still have it, right, then it's an A for me. What is it? The cheese. The cheese topping is my favorite yeah. flavor the of chisel, all time. The cheese hole. It's gone. <laughs> the <laughs> cheese hole. Yeah, Do you lick the cheese hole? Do you lick the cheese hole? I love the cheese hole. No, the <laughs> cheese hole is so good. It's, it's so like good. you get the ting shanti like a, a nice yeah, exactly. basic. Uh, and then you put the cheese hole. <laughs> right? wow, 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 wow. It's, it's, like, it's, it's better than macchiato. Yeah. It's this so is, 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 no la, check, check, check. I think it's gone. Okay, so crowd favorites at Liho used Jeez. to be, used to be <laughs> cheese ting shen tea, da hong pao milk tea, and their avocado smoothie with pearl. Okay, they still have the avocado yeah. smoothie. Yeah, okay, but that's whatever. That's not, that's not, that's okay, in the, that should be from the food order. shop competition no, already. No, but that's a lot of people <laughs> like their drink. Okay, fine. But that's not bubble tea. Really. I'm a bit sad and I give it a C because Liho is one of those brands where you go back to. You know, it's the, the, the affordable. Koi. No, it's no <laughs> exactly. It's similar to koi. It's the familiar flavor. It's uh, the familiar option. It's the one you go back to for the basic drink that's affordable. But then they got rid of that. Like even the prices now are also quite high already, right? Like be, mm. if you if you don't have promos or other kind of thing, it's like five dollars a drink. Seven dollars, five dollars, six dollars, ninety cent. Hey, but I must say, right? So usually, right, my bubble tea consumption nowadays is usually net buy. Then I finish half. Okay. Without her knowing. It ain't okay, your favorite part. So you just no, consume no. the cheese. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So when I used to order regularly, then I will always get the cheese. But the last two years, I'm cutting down my sugar. So she will order and then I will <laughs> be the annoying girlfriend that will just drink. Mm. Boyfriend, boyfriend. And she <laughs> she loves trying new flavors, right? And we discovered the Kalpis. Oh? The Kalpis. Oh, the, 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 the milk. Yeah, the, it used no, to be- Yogurt, yogurt. yogurt it used yogurt, to be yogurt. like Yakult. Then I think uh, they changed uh, to uh, Kalpis or whatever, but it's uh-huh. damn short. It's like Yakult peach. Wow. It's a Korean drink. Wow. <laughs> Liho is an average of 3.9 <clears throat> on Google reviews, which is 
higher than Koi and Gongcha and their no lowest way. rated store is at Funan, 3.4 stars. It is still not bad. No, no, but I like, I like, one thing I like about Liho last time, right, is like, <laughs> the, the, last the, time. is the marketing. Like, I remember there, their marketing campaign is quite innovative whereby like, there was a period where you just do this at the counter. You just say Lee Ho, and then they'll give you a free large drink. It's so cute. What? It's I them cute. So like, it. it's so Lee people Ho. cute. I just like Lee Ho. Then Lee I would, because I'm a bit Pisces, like, especially if the person is like young, yeah. who served me, then I have to do this to them. <laughs> <laughs> then every Pisces, I'm like, uh, hello, can I get a free drink? Lee I Ho? think you must also look a bit broke. Like if you look rich, right, you wear it like Gucci, LV, and then you're like, I want my free drink, please. No, but some of said. those are the most broke. <laughs> That's true. Don't let social media That's fool true. you. Okay, wait, so anybody here tried their new menu? No. Anything from the new menu? What do you try from their new menu? I think it's called so the Cloud Series. Uh, now I got like a new. green, like a uh, jasmine green tea. Like it sounds like, Okay, right, jasmine okay, green tea. Okay. So it's different from any jasmine green tea I ever tried. It's really like perfumey. I, I okay. don't know what's wrong. Oh, too flowery. Uh. It, it shoots up your nose somehow. <gasps> like when you drink it, it's so Okay, but based on your review on Sanjian, I think. Okay, I'll try but if you would like to try, <laughs> if you would like to try <laughs> Liho, uh, Krilin, once again, our resident bubble tea expert, expert recommends their golden avocado or triple peach pomelo. Cup walker. Okay, our final ranking for <laughs> Liho. <laughs> Final ranking for Liho is a D. It's a D. It's an average out to a D. No, I tell you Liho, what I help you with this business. Just bring back the tea, empty. Remove the cloud, remove the cloud. You just change back to the menu, right? You'll do great. C for cheese hole. And now it is time for painting, painting of, of the episode. episode. So while Alison brings down today's painting, if this is your first time watching this segment, we would like to share that the Daily Catch-Up is proudly supporting Shaping Hearts, which is an all-inclusive art festival featuring works from artists with disability in Singapore. And today's featured artist is Gary Chong, who is a 26-year-old artist with uh, intellectual disability. But despite his challenges, he does approach life with quite a positive attitude and unwavering spirit, as you can see from this artwork. So he calls this artwork Rainbow Land and it's a magical land with lots of tall trees and even a bubbling stream in the mm. middle. And it's supposed to exude joy and peace. It so if you want to get meaningful pieces such as Gary's and other artists with disabilities, please join us on the 19th of October at our Tampanese Hub for the Shaping Hearts event. And we'll see you there. We will surely be there. And we hope to see you there. Like, share, subscribe. We've come to the end of the episode. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So what is the bubble tea? The, the, the logo is like that. What? Like it's a- No, 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 so yeah. the very yeah. first one- No, it's cause you walk past, you don't think that there will be a tea around the corner cause of the smell. <laughs> then you're trying, hey tea! <laughs> but it doesn't match with the smell. Eh. Oh no, okay. you guys are getting older. Okay. Yes. No, yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 no one laughing at each other. <laughs> 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 <laughs>